Hello everyone, I'm Talisman, and in this video I will show you how to create a mandala in Clip Studio Paint. I will be using a square canvas for this tutorial, though any size will do. Make adjustments as needed for your project. If you don't already have another layer in your layer panel, create a new layer. This is where we will place our symmetry ruler. Click on the figure icon and choose Symmetry Ruler. Next, we are looking at the Number of Lines option in the Tool Properties. This itself is key to creating a mandala in Clip Studio Paint. Mine is currently set to 8 lines. Higher number means more repetitions in your mandala, and the more complex it becomes. So while I choose 6 or 8, I encourage you to experiment. Try a few different ones and see what you like best. There's no real correct answer here. Click anywhere on the canvas to create your ruler. Now the ruler doesn't have to be centered here, but I like to center it. I suggest turning on the ruler bar to do this. You can press either Control R or go to View and down to Ruler Bar about in the middle of the list. Next, I'm selecting the Object tool and clicking on the ruler so now I can move it freely. Look at the guides and move the ruler as close to the center as possible. You should see little ticks about where the center lines should be. Now still using the object tool with the ruler selected, the tool properties section, there are settings for the X and Y axes. Adjust these numbers as needed to get it as close to the center as possible. You can see from my ruler, the X is on the center line, since mine is a square. Both of the center numbers are 1750, and now that should be exactly in the center. This number will be different for everyone based on their chosen canvas size, which is why I recommend using the ruler bar to try and get as close to the center as possible. You'll be able to see which way you need to go to make adjustments. Drawing your mandala. Pick any brush you like and start drawing. Now, if you find your brush does not work, meaning that you're drawing and it's just not creating repetitions on your canvas, it means that snapping is not enabled. To enable snapping, click on the wrench and go to Edit Tools, and then go to Correction to enable snapping. Next, if you make a mistake, you can either undo your work as usual or erase it. In Clip Studio Paint, any brush can have snapping enabled, including erasers. So if your erasers aren't working, Go into the settings, same as any other brush, and enable snapping. Once you know the placement of your ruler using the object tool, you can now use another ruler on another layer and place it in the same place. Now you can draw your mandala on multiple layers and still have your work align. This is especially fun if you want your mandala to be more complex in some areas, not in others. Now using this trick, I have a simpler mandala design in the center that gets more complex on the outside. Or I can go back and forth, allowing for more complex designs and more visual interest. One other thing to note is that you can move symmetry rulers to new layers. You create a new layer, and you click on the ruler itself in the layer panel to move it to a new layer. This allows you to color beneath your mandala, for example, or maybe draw with a different pen on a separate layer to keep things all tidy. Remember that this is my process for creating a mandala digitally and, as with many tasks, this is only one way to achieve the same thing. If you have any questions about what I've shared here or would like any clarification, please let me know in the comments. Now go and make some art 